Welcome to this video on Accelerate Forms Online. This video will provide details on the bottom buttons in the packet summary and how to use these buttons with your transactions. Upon completion of this lesson you will be able to use the bottom buttons of the packet summary by finding the transaction, reselecting packets, taking forms offline, resorting forms, and signing out. You will now watch demonstrations of how to use the bottom buttons in the packet summary. Start by logging on to Accelerate. If you need additional information on how to log on to Accelerate, please view the video on accessing Accelerate. Once you have logged on, you will be on the home page called My Dashboard. To open an existing transaction you would like to work on, go to the Recent Activities list in the middle of the page. The Recent Activities list will list the last eight transactions that you worked on. Click the transaction name under Recent Activities to open the transaction. If your transaction is not listed under Recent Activities, click the Edit Transaction link on the navigation bar to find the transaction. If needed, please review the video on editing forms for existing transactions to locate the transaction. The page will refresh and display your transaction on the packet summary page. Scroll to the bottom of the page to view all of your button options. When you created a new transaction and you had more than one contract type to choose from, you chose the wrong contract. You can now click on the Reselect Packet button. This will direct you to a page which will allow you to select another contract. Click the button next to the contract you would like to use. Now click the OK button. The page will refresh and take you to the packet summary page of your new contract. Any fields that were common to both contracts will be filled out with the information you entered in the old contract. Now you can open this new contract and continue to fill out the rest of the fields. The old contract will automatically be deleted from Accelerate. The Take Offline button allows you to save a copy of your transaction offline, such as on your PC's hard drive, and continue to fill in the fields of your transaction while offline. Once you have finished, you can save your new entries and later update your online transaction with the offline content you have entered. Your PC must have the ActiveX program installed to use the Take Offline button. To start this process, click the Take Offline button. A new window will open and ask you where you would like to save your offline transaction. The transaction will be saved in the default location or you can select the Save In field at the top of the window to determine where you would like to save the offline transaction. The default file name will be listed at the bottom of the window. You may accept the default file name or enter a custom file name. Once you have finished your entries, click the Save button to save the file. To open your transaction offline, go to the location of your offline transaction and click the file name to open your transaction. A new window will open and display your transaction. You may now fill in any of the fields in the transaction. Since you are offline, the duplicate fields in all of the forms that you fill out will not automatically fill in those same fields on the other forms in your transaction. Once you have completed filling out the fields in your transaction, click the Save button at the top of the page. You can now close your offline transaction if desired. To update your online transaction with your offline content, open the Offline Transaction and then click the Take Online button at the top of the page. A new window will open and show the uploading of the new information to your online transaction. Once the upload is completed, the upload window will close and your online transaction will be updated. If you decide you don't want to use the offline transaction you created, you will need to click the Cancel Offline button located where the Take Offline button was located on your packet summary. This will allow you to continue to work on your online transaction. If you cancel the offline option, you will not be able to update your online transaction with your offline transaction later on. If you would like to change the order your forms are displayed on the packet summary page, click the Resort button.
A new window will open and display the titles of all the forms you have selected on the packet summary page. To resort a form, click the title of the form you would like to move. The title will be highlighted. Now click the up or down button to move the title up or down one line for every one click of the button. Repeat the process to move the other forms. Once you have completed moving the forms to the order you would like them to be displayed in, click the Save button to save your changes. The window will close and you will be back on your packet summary page. You may move more than one form at a time by clicking and highlighting the first form name and then holding down your control button on your keyboard before clicking the next form name to also highlight that form. You may resort any of your forms, but you cannot move an optional form above a required form. Required forms will always be at the top of the packet summary. The resorted forms will also print in the new order. To log off Accelerate, click the Log Off link in the upper right hand corner of the page. A window will open and ask you, are you sure you want to log off? Click OK to log off Accelerate. This concludes this presentation on Part 1 of how to use the bottom buttons of the packet summary in Accelerate. Additional training videos on this and other topics are on the Long and Foster Cafe. We thank you for viewing this video.